Yeah, in this video I'll show you some of the WebGL capabilities uh, of the Raspberry Pi 3. Well, I had some tutorial in the internet where there were some links to the Chromium browser version 47. I just downloaded them and ran Chromium browser. And you see the Chromium browser is, yeah, a little bit slower than the built-in. For a comparison, when I start uh, Epiphany. When I start Epiphany, I see it's there a little bit faster. Now let's look, let's Google for some WebGL demos. This is a problem I notice very often. Warning texture bound to texture unit 0 is not renderable, maybe a non power of 2 texture, and have incompatible texture filtering. Uh, I don't know if it's really the non power of 2 texture or if they had some texture filtering, but I think. I think all graphics cards, even the embedded ones, should have the Magnum filter yeah, for textures. So it's, I think there are some strange non power of two textures in there. Finally, I found a running uh, WebGL demo. Yeah, you see it's really really slow with two to three frames per second in chromium browser yeah let's test some other ways to get 3d content on the raspberry pi screen this is another test where you see yeah, the Raspberry Pi in WebGL mode performing not so well. You see the frame rate it re is really low and yeah the Raspberry Pi 3 does not really have the performance to do this game. This is the same game on a PC and you see it's much smoother. Um, I also ported this game to Android and there it also runs pretty fine so seems that JavaScript based WebGL is not the best choice in performance wise. To be complete this is the GLX Gears running on LVM software renderer. It's yeah, really impressive. For 24 frames per second from a software renderer. Yeah, I'm impressed. Also here a second comparison, the Raspberry Pi Gears, which use the full capabilities of the Raspberry Pi GPU. So you see, it's the most performant way to write your software in C. So in conclusion, to get 3D content running on Raspberry Pi, WebGL is the slowest version. Then the next fast thing is using a software renderer like LLVM Pipe. And the fastest is to really use the EGL plus OpenGL ES in, yeah, on bare metal hardware. So I can run the demo last time. These Raspberry Pi gears. Look how smooth it is. And it's uh, to mention it's the full HD resolution on the screen. Yeah, thanks and bye bye. You see, a total of 220. FPS in full screen. I have to mention um, this full screen GLES performance I even do not get from the open source AMD drivers on my Linux desktop machine. So, Launix Vorsprung durch Software.